Hey piggy people. So this morning was absolutely terrifying. I came in this morning to give tomato like usual and everybody always comes like running over here. Mine is pecan because she doesn't get one and she's used to that. So I'm passing out some tomatoes to the herd and Velvet's back there and she starts coming forward. So I look over to Velvet and then out of the corner of my eye I see pecan over by the hay boxes. And she was on her back, stuck. So somehow she had got flipped over and she couldn't get back over. So I immediately helped her up, but she couldn't stand herself up. Her back end just kept falling down. Um, so I took her out of the cage immediately and like she looked like she'd been there a long time. She looked dehydrated and so weak. Oh, it was terrible. So, um, I got some food into her, like the Sherwood recovery food, uh, water into her. And then she kind of perked up, like her eyes perked up a bit after that. But she could not hold up her back end. So her right side is the side that she was, um, laying on. It was kind of like her right side on her back. So her back end here, she does have arthritis, but like this back side here, like she was all weak and couldn't move it. Now it didn't look like she had a stroke or anything. It just looked like she had been stuck on that side for I don't know how long during the night. And obviously it probably was all cramped and weak and who knows how long she struggled trying to get back over. Oh, it breaks my heart just talking about it. So I decided to put her in her own section here, and she's been eating hay. Um, I picked some fresh grass with her, because at this point I was like, I haven't given her fresh stuff for a long time, but I was like, grass is the, obviously just like hay, but fresh, so hopefully that won't give her any bloat. It hasn't, thankfully, but I just wanted to give her something that she's going to really enjoy to get some energy and some water into her. So she ate a bunch of that. And then I just had her in a snuggle sack. I took it out for now so that she'll be up. But I put her in a really comfy snuggle sack and she was able to lay comfortably. And I let her sleep for a few hours because she was so tired. And I just got up to get her back out. And she's eating hay again and she's finally pooping. So my biggest worry was pecan has the digestive issues so I was terrified of what if her stomach got twisted or flipped when she was on her back but she's pooping she's eating and just a few minutes ago she went to her water bottle and had some water um, she's getting a bit more strength in her back end but she's still quite unsteady so I'm gonna keep her in her own section until she's got the strength to move around properly because otherwise I feel like she's just going to topple over. Um, I, I don't know what to do now because like I, do you guys remember, I forget if this was like two or three months ago, um, somebody, I'm assuming it was Raisin, knocked into her and knocked her over and she had flipped on her back but I was right here so I flipped her over immediately but this time I was sleeping. So I don't know how long she was on her back for. So this is time number two. So I don't know what to do, whether I should, when I'm not around and can't check her often, if I should keep her in her own section and then have her with the herd like when I'm around and can be in and out to see that she's fine. I don't know. Because I feel honestly like if she was left much longer, that she didn't have much strength left. And obviously they can't go for too much longer not eating or her stomach could stop. Oh my god, it was horrible. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about it. But it, I can't put her back with them right now until she can walk properly. She's luckily, she's a pig who's not super social with everyone, like she loves other pigs, but she's not glued to anybody, if you know what I mean. So I think she would be totally fine to be in her own section beside the herd. So I don't know if maybe just at night I'll put her, like keep this section here and put her here, and then when I'm around during the day she can be out in the main cage. I'm really just going to have to see, like if she gets all her strength back and can move around properly. 
Oh, I feel terrible for her. Like, it makes me feel sick thinking that, you know, nobody was there to help her. Oh, she's moving okay. Oh, good girl. You getting up in your cup? Do you need any help? Do you need help with your last leg? Oh, you got it. Okay. We're doing better. So it's been probably about four and a half hours since I found her. No longer than that. Probably five or six hours since I found her. And it was horrible because you could just tell that she hadn't eaten for a long time because she got was all thin. So that was terrible. Oh, just sorry guys, this is a sad video, but I'm happy that she's fine. But it is terrible. Just terrible, terrible thinking about her. And then I think, why couldn't somebody else in the cage have like pushed her back over? I know that's ridiculous, like thinking that somebody else should have helped her. Okay, I think I gotta stop video because I'm just all upset. So I'm just going to keep watching her today and make sure she gets what she needs and she is looking a lot over there so I do think she wants to go back with them but I just got to wait till it's safe because there's some piggies that you know can be quite pushy and I do not want her to be pushed over again. Okay, anyway, I'll be fine. I'm just very sensitive. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so this is the second part of the video. It is now um, after 8 in the evening. So I just wanted to update you guys that Pecan has been improving all day. Uh, thankfully she's walking around. Uh, she's still a bit weak with her back legs, but she's moving a lot better. She's eating, she's drinking. She still likes if you syringe her water. So I've been doing that a lot throughout the day. And I've also been giving her extra recovery food as she'll take it. Apple, don't be giving Reese the stare. She's in her bed mind in her business. Apple. Don't be starting drama. Anyway, um, so I decided, like I just cleaned the cage out because it was Monday cage cleaning. So I've decided that in the evening, like before I go to bed, I'm going to put apple and pecan in this section here. And I put some grids attached there that I can pull across to clip here. And I think that's what is going to make me feel better and hopefully be more comfortable for pecan. So then she'll just have like this 3x4 area with just apple. Reason being is Apple's not a pushy pig with her. Uh, Apple's not a pushy pig in general. Apple likes to sleep in hay piles or sleep in her snuggle sack. So the pigs that I'm sure are the pushiest with Pecan are Raisin and Velvet and both unintentionally. So Raisin's the one who knocked Pecan over the other time. And I would venture a guess that it was probably Raisin this time. So Raisin I see on a daily basis all the time knocking into guinea pigs. So she's the one with only one eye and quite often if somebody's on her blind side and she accidentally bumps into them, it freaks her out and then she just plows over them. So I've seen her like plow over pigs that are on cuddle cups and stuff that are minding their own business because she just freaks out. Velvet will plow through pigs too but generally that's only because one of us humans have startled her or reached too close to her so I don't really see her do that of her own accord so my guess is that Raisin accidentally did it I mean anything could have happened with any of the other pigs but that's just my guess so in order for me to feel better and for Pecan to be safer I think having her blocked off at night with just Apple is going to be the best idea that I can come up with. So that way while I'm sleeping I'm not worried about her and she has less areas to get into. They'll both have a bed to be super snuggly in, uh, pellets, water, a big hay pile. 
so I'm gonna try that and see how it goes um, apple and pecan get divided in the morning from the herd anyway because apple and pecan both don't get veggies so I think actually it might work out pretty well so we'll come down they'll be divided and I can just tidy the cage as is give the herd their veggies and then once the herd's done their veggies I can open up the pen and they can have the whole cage area uh, luckily my husband and my schedule for working is staggered so it's going to work out that somebody's going to be able to check in on the pigs you know fairly often there's not going to be too large of gaps where we can't see what they're doing and I'm just going to have to make it a point to come down even more often than I do well I come up I come down all the time so maybe I'll just ask my husband to come down even more often when he's home and I'm not home yet just to check <sighs> So I'm so thankful that she has perked up, like this morning was terrible. So yeah, that's my plan. I just wanted to give you guys an update because I know the other first part of this video I was just so upset, like I still hate thinking about it, it still breaks my little heart so I'm hoping that this way everything's going to be better for everyone involved. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.